In previous video, we learned how to save data to Firebase. We used these dependencies and initialized Firebase like this. In Firebase, we make this user details collection. Now let's dive into this tutorial and we'll learn how to fetch data from Firebase. In this page, there I created an elevated button. After clicking this, I am navigating to fetch data page. In body section, let initialize a stream builder because we will get data from Firestore database. In this stream section, we need to provide the path of our collection. Let's write Firebase Firestore dot instance dot collection, and in this parameter, we will pass user details because we make our collection named user details and end it with writing dot snapshots. In this builder section, let pass two parameters context and a snapshot. Now, if our collection is in waiting state, we will show a circular progress indicator. If there is an error, we will show the error message. Or else, we will return a list view, which will contain our retrieved data. We used list view separated. Let pass context and index in item builder and again pass context and index in separator builder and this separator builder will return a divider this will add divider between items in item builder section it will return a container let's use child as list child In title, we want to show name. So in this section, inside the text widget, write snapshot.data.docs and pass name here. And item count will be the length of the document. Now run this application Click this button See, we get the name from all the documents Now we want to show the age and email That's why in subtitle section we use a columns I am copying this line here, replacing name with age and email. And we successfully retrieved our data. Add the data again. Now, if we navigate to fetch data page, we can see that the data we just added right now is showing here. 